Now, if something could lead to the death of 20 lakh people in India, 20 lakh people in India, and 50 lakh people all over the world between now and 2050, would you consider that as a serious problem? If the answer is yes, then the story is for you. The World Health Organization, WHO, says that antibiotic resistance is one of the major risks to public health. First things first, what is antibiotic resistance? Resistance to antibiotics, the ability of a microorganism to withstand the effects of an antibiotic. Generally, we take antibiotics to target specific germs or microorganisms like bacteria. Misuse or overuse of these antibiotics can lead to resistance, meaning the medicine will not cure you of an illness. Now, many of us have experienced it now that 250 mg of a common cold antibiotic does not cure your headache or throat pain or the flu. You need bigger doses. And this is not a problem in just one country. It's a global health risk now. Right now, 7 lakh people die every year due to drug resistance. The WHO says that more than 50% of antibiotics are used inappropriately in most countries. For example, antibacterial drugs are often wrongly prescribed to treat a viral infection. Sometimes drugs of higher dosages are given for speedier recovery. This is not the way to go about it. All this adds to drug resistance. So call this issue an invisible pandemic. The WHO is even more worried. It says that we are already in the postbiotic era. What does the postbiotic era mean? It means that there are more infections which cannot be treated by antibiotics now because the body has developed resistance to the drug. Now, there is no doubt that this is a serious problem. How do you address it? The WHO has classified drugs into three groups and they've created a program called AWARE. And that's acronym. AWARE is acronym for Access, Watch and Reserve. Antibiotics under the Access category can be used to treat common infections and they're easily available, accessible. In the Watch category, one must wait and watch before giving the drugs. And in the Reserve category, as the name suggests, antibiotics are used sparingly, only as a last resort. Now, India already has a national action plan to deal with something like this. High-end antibiotics are marked with a red line to separate them from other normal varieties. There is a tolerance limit for presence of antibiotics in food items, but still the misuse continues. It's a problem from both ends. Unnecessary prescriptions as well as misuse of drugs. Like India, there are 100 countries in the world with such action plans, but only one-fifth of these plans are funded and implemented. There are already 7 lakh infections with antibiotic-resistant bacteria. The more we delay in regulating the use of antibiotics, the bigger the problem will become. And the problem has an economic link. Antibiotic resistance is likely to hurt people with low to middle income groups in these groups rather than the developed world. And if we fail to address it now, it will have huge consequences. It will impair our ability to treat even common infections. Surgeries will become riskier. The economic cost will also be huge. What can we do? For starters, do not self-medicate. Use drugs judicious, judiciously. The last bout of common cold may not be caused by the same bacteria as this one. Try to follow that. Stay healthy. Now, antibiotic abuse is not the only thing that ails India's health story. There are many problems to contend with. The Niti Aayog has ranked states on the basis of health indicators and there are some interesting findings in this report. Kerala, Andhra Pradesh and Maharashtra, not surprisingly, are the top performers on health in India. Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Odisha remain at the bottom of the pile. So what is this index? The health index is a composite score which incorporates 23 indicators. It covers all states and union territories in India from the year 2015 to 2018. Now, Kerala has traditionally been a top performer in terms of development indicators. What's interesting to note is the states which have improved in the recent past. These states are Haryana, Rajasthan and Jharkhand. These states have seen the best improvement in terms of health care. On an overall basis, Kerala continues to be the clear front runner. The report also differentiates between big states like Uttar Pradesh and smaller states like Tripura. Among the small states, Mizoram gets the top rank, followed by Manipur and Meghalaya. On the flip side, Sikkim and Arunachal Pradesh have seen the biggest decline in overall health scores. Among the union territories, Chandigarh remains on top. Dadra Nagar Haveli is at the bottom. It has, in fact, improved the most. 
Besides the rankings, the report also reveals several crucial correlations. For example, health indicators are connected to fertility rate, low birth weight and sex ratio. Take the case of Bihar. It's ranked very low on the health index and it has seen a deterioration in all the factors. The economic development of a state is also linked to these health scores. In general, states and union territories with high growth and per capita income have fared better. The report says that the government should spend a larger share of the GDP on health. And not just that, the Niti Aayog also wants states to focus on governance and facilities. I want to recommend the states that they should focus on their health अपनी जो गवर्नेंस है जो अपनी उनकी जो भूमिका है उसके ऊपर तवज्जो रखें उसकी मॉनिटरिंग करें और जिन राज्यों में स्टेट्स जिन राज्यों में इसका स्तर ऊंचा है उससे सबक सीखकर उससे आगे बढ़ें and that's not all. The differences between these states uh, are significant. Kerala and Andhra Pradesh, for instance, scored more than twice as much as states like Bihar and Uttar Pradesh. Punjab, which ranked number two earlier, has dropped to the fifth spot. Tamil Nadu was at number three the last time. It has fallen to the ninth rank. The report spells out what the media has been highlighting. Simple things like unfilled vacancies of nurses and specialists in local hospitals hurt the public health system. There's a lot to do there.